I shot the one to lock it. This is part two. That something has happened that was real spiritual, man. As I was doing the last video lesson, it, it cut short out of nowhere. And as soon as it cut short, the time on my phone was one four four. Kohalim la Yahawa by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Echak with Dash. You know that spiritual science and low willing. You know we're a part of that number. You, me, myself, <clears throat> Slocky, and you brothers listening, man. You see that was spiritual right there, man. You know, as soon as it cut off, I was like, oh, why cut off? Then I looked at the time, 144. I was like, wow, man. You know, so this will be part two. I'm going to continue on reading Isaiah 60th chapter. Continue on and, you know, remind you what you're fighting for, man. So like I was saying, though, there'll be no northern kingdom versus southern kingdom. No Ephraim vexing Judah. Judah vexing Ephraim. it will be no none of that, man. You see? We're all going to be um, 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 at peace, man. You know, that brotherly love coming back in a massive way, man. You know, we're going to be looking out for one another in the kingdom, man. Giving. You know, we can, we, that's all we're going to want to do is give to brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers may come over to your, your palace or your, your land or whatever the case may be. You know, bro, that palace right there is nice. Oh, you like that? You like that palace? Me and the brother Shaco Down talking about this, man. I can't. You know, you like that palace? Yeah, that's yours. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, man. Or, you know, the brother may come over and see your servants and handmaids, you know. Or they working, they doing, they doing good. And they may have a daughter that's, that's you know, that's fair to look upon. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, yeah, she's beautiful. Oh, you want that? You know what I'm saying? That's yours, brother. You know, that, that's for you. You know, precious gold and metals. Brothers can give each other chains and, 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 and bracelets and, you know, type of stuff, man. Man, we're going to be decked out. We're going to give brothers lands. We're going to be giving each other everything, man. Just 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 giving, you know? That's the spirit we're going to be in. It's not going to be no covetous spirit. Oh, man, look what he got, man. Damn. Why he, why is palace, why he got two palaces and only got one palace? It's not fair. There'll be none of that in the kingdom, man. You know, there'll be none of that. We're gonna give to one another, man. And same for you sisters, you know? That that, that, that sisterly love y'all once had for one another, that's coming back in a massive way. Cause right now, sisters, you know, they, they they don't love each other, man. They hate each other too. You know, they hate their husband, they hate their kids, you know? They man, our, our woman is off majority. Cause like I'm saying, listen, a few sisters out there that's trying, you know, that's learning and understanding, you know, but you got majority of our women is still bugged the hell out, man. You know, they they trunk over the one of Babylon, especially uh the, the Southern Kingdom women. They out of here, man. You know, that's why the majority of the women here in America, Babylon, Great gonna die. You know? But like I'm going into though, in the kingdom of heaven, it'll be no more violence in our land. You know, there'll be no 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 um there'll be no robberies. <laughs> you you can leave your door open, man. In the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have no worries whatsoever. You know, we're gonna be able to sleep when you know they you know they're saying, oh you gotta sleep one hour open. There'll be none of that, man. We're gonna sleep like a fucking baby in the kingdom. Knowing when we wake up, so much to do. You know, we can probably stay up just knowing, like, oh, I don't want to go to sleep. There's so much to do. You know, the brother, you know, the brother told me this guy, he got a new planet out there in this galaxy. I want to go visit him, man. I haven't seen his brother in, you know, a couple a couple years, man. I came up to go see this brother, man. You know, he talked to me telepathically. <laughs> Yo, we're going to be decked out. We're going to be gods, man. You know, gods. You see? So there'll be no violence, none of that, man. So let's read this again. Isaiah 60, and I'm at verse uh, 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, right? And thy gates praise. You know, as soon as brothers wake up, we're gonna have servants that can sing, you know, singing all honor, glory, and infinite praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Singing beautiful psalms and songs, man. You know what I'm saying? You wake up just, you know, soon it's like clockwork. The Frankenstein is gonna be running, everything smelling good, looking nice. You know what I'm saying, man? We gonna, man, the Lord will give us it all, man. Know what you're fighting, man. Man, fuck this world, fuck this body. You know, fuck all of this. I'm talking from my language. You know, this is how I speak. If you don't like it, you could go onto another channel. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I speak, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, know what you're fighting for, man. The Lord will give us it all, man. So if Esau rode down and threatened to kill brothers, take that cheerfully, man. You know, because your name, if you endure to the end and take that death faithfully, you're going to get raised with a crown of life. You know, your name be written in stone in the kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever. And they're going to talk about you in the kingdom. Of course, they're going to talk about Yahweh Shemel Shah, of course. But they're going to talk about the elect. You know, those that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And you want to be a part of that number. You know, so don't give up. Don't lose hope, man. Tell Esau, man. It's going to say, what? Fear not him that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill both soul and body in hell. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He can kill us. He can destroy us. Oh, we can't, you can't. There's no hiding from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Shit like that. You know, Jeremiah 23 verse 23. It lets you know. Like, how, how are you going to hide from him? He created all of this. You can't hide nowhere. You can hide under the tree. He can see through it. 
yo, you, you man, people is crazy, man. But yeah, the Lord about the blessings, man. You know, this this is this is marvelous, man. You know, and uh, brothers out there, if you if you feel like you lack in faith, James the first chapter, pray for more wisdom, pray for more faith, man. The Lord God is man. We gonna just just endure. When once this come to pass, there's no looking back. There's no, all right, we're in the kingdom. Oh, let's not mess up. We're gonna be. I'm about to read it. We're about to be totally righteous, man. A hundred percent, a hundred percent righteous. Let's read it. So, where am I? Verse 19, Isaiah 16, 19. The sun shall be no more, Sakia. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But Yahweh from Yahushai shall be unto thee an everlasting light. And thy power, thy glory. You know, and you know the sun and the moon gonna be there, but that's going to how Yahweh from Yahushai, his spirit gonna be with us, man, or always, man. That light, like I read in um, what's that, Psalm 23. Uh, no, 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 Psalms 16, verse 1. It's like when I started Psalms 16, verse 1. Arise, shine, let thy light shine upon. Let me, let me read it again. Isaiah 16 and 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is risen upon thee. You see? Let's go jump back to verse uh, 20 now. Now, watch this. Isaiah 16 and 20. Thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. We will never mourn again, man. Never mourn again. This is what we're fighting for, man. You know, so everything happening right here and now will be like one big dream. You see, one big nightmare, man. When the kingdom come, you know, and it's coming fast, man. Look at look around. We're in the, we're in the last days, man. We're at the end. It was a 7.4 earthquake over there um, in China. You know, that's according to prophecies. You got Esau rolling down with the with the V. You know, it's going to lead to the C, the MOB. You know, and that's going to lead to people's deaths, man. You know, they making it where you, they, they trying to, they, they not making it mandatory. But they saying, listen, if you don't got this, man, you can't, you can't work my job. You know, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, but Esau with the, with the MOB, he going to make that shit like, yo, listen, taking this, I'm chopping your head off. Esau gonna come down like a madman. That's in the scriptures. Esau gonna be like, man, I got a short time. Let's, let's roll down on him, man. It's time. Fuck it, man. You know? And Esau, come on with it, man. What you waiting for? You know? What are you waiting for, Esau? Just, just you know what you want to do. You want to establish an NWO, come down with it, man. What you waiting for? Why are you procrastinating? Just come on with it. But ultimately, you know what? Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is in full control. He's controlling Esau. You know what I'm saying? Esau don't even know it. Right? Let's read on down. Isaiah 60 in verse uh 21 now all right so it said the days of our morning are gonna be ended man we can't wait for that man so remember what you're fighting for brothers and you few sisters out there as well right verse 21 thy people also shall all be suck it suck it thy people also shall be all righteous so the entire nation of israel will be 100 percent righteous the new spiritual body you shall all be changed i'm gonna get that next a little willing i don't forget you know so I know you sisters out there, you watch the first video, you hear that, you know, about a man having more than one woman and I get you upset, but listen, you're gonna get changed, man. You know, you're gonna be 100% righteous and you're gonna, you're gonna find, you're gonna get that mindset you had back in the intro back. You're gonna understand like, oh snap, like I was, like, I was going off in America Babylon on a great, man. Like our woman gonna realize that very soon. Actually, they gonna realize that on this side. You know, before the kingdom, they gonna realize that. You know, the Lord gonna remove that demonic spell that's on our woman. You know, when Jacob's trouble kick in, Cause when Jacob trouble kick in, they gonna go back to their natural state. They know they gonna know they oh I can't be independent. I'm gonna die. You know I need to I need to cleave unto this man, and, and that man they gonna cleave unto is gonna be a elect man of the Lord, and you are gonna have a whole bunch of women trying to cleave to him for protection and guidance, and they gonna want to be married unto that man. You see, and the scripture say what? Uh, women shall be saved in childbearing. So they gonna want to sleep with this man. You know, probably bear him children or whatever the case may be. You know, to make it. You know, you know, and that's gonna happen. Isaiah four and one: Seven women shall take over to one man. You know, that's written in the scriptures, you know? So ultimately, it goes down to, like, do you sisters believe in the Bible or not? You know, if you believe in the Bible, then it's written in the scriptures, man. A man got more than one. It, it's in the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, then, you know, keep it pushing. It's not for you. You know, who cares? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know? But, yeah, just saying that. But in the, in the kingdom of heaven, it's supposed to start on this side. Y'all women going to realize, you know, y'all was drunk with the wine of Babylon. You know, that's why y'all gave that topic. It, it's, for your woman, it's, it's controversial. Oh, more than one. No, no, no. That's not, not fair. 
because I know what it is the woman in Babylon the great think they're equal with the man and that's false you know y'all not equal with the men period not at all women and men are not equal man the man is above the woman point blank period that's the order set up you know it's the heavenly father Hamashak Yahusha Israelite man Israelite woman you know straight like that you know straight like that that's the order that's set up that's why um, um, in America, Babylon, great, and, and our people in general around the whole world, our, our houses are broken down because they give the woman the charge. The, the woman being um be on top, be the head of the household. That's why that shit don't last, man. You know, it don't last. You know, it shit get broken down. Things don't work out because a man's supposed to lead, man, and righteousness, of course. But a man's supposed to lead it. He's supposed, he's supposed to lead, man. You know, he's not supposed to let the woman lead him. That's why the woman end up le leaving him. And, and then you women don't even understand that You end up cheating on your man You know Because only the only women can actually cheat Men can't cheat You know Just being honest They can't cheat If a man won He got more than one woman If that if, Say if a man got a wife He want to get another wife You know what I'm saying If you go get that other wife She just can't have a husband That That's adultery He's going off if you do that Now she's You know Don't have no man Or nothing like that He could do that if you want But now not the time for that Just saying that but women out there, that's why y'all end up cheating because y'all y'all in charge of your man. Once you above your man and you you conquered him, you conquered him. You know, you like man, what the fuck. You know, you can try. You, that's why women go for the bad boys. You know, those that he can't conquer. You see, so I'm just putting it out there, man. I know that may upset some. It may upset some sisters that watch this, but I don't really care. You know, I'm being honest with you. I don't care. That's why I said it. I'm in the spirit, and I said it. But going back to the initial point of me even saying it, right? You sisters will be 100% perfect in the kingdom of heaven. You'll be decked out. You'll be royal. You know, you have your heart's desire as well. You see? So know what you're fighting for as well. Those that believe in this truth. And if you believe, ultimately, if you believe, if you believe in the Bible, don't try to pick and choose what you believe in and what you don't believe in. You got to believe in the whole book. Right? But let's read on down. Isaiah 16, 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They, um, they shall inherit the land forever Which is the land of Jerusalem, the kingdom Right The branch of my planting, the work of my hands That I may be glorified That's all for the glorification of Yahweh Verse 22 A little one shall become a thousand And a small one a strong nation Now how can a little one become a thousand man Think about it If a man has one woman in the kingdom of heaven he, 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 and She has a thousand kids But at one man man you know how long that's going to take? Because, you know, when a woman get pregnant, what? Nine months. Nine months. She gives birth. You know, and he probably not going to pop up again prior to another month after. Who knows? You know, then she get pregnant again. And there's another nine months. So you tell me this man going to have one kid every two years? You know? And that's going to bring a thousand? No, man. This man going to have more than one woman. You know, he probably going to pop. In, in one year, probably pop a good 200, you know? In one year, 200 women. Impregnated by this one man You know And one year later That's 20 kids 200 newborn babies Born just like that One year later Cause you know After 9 months They give birth So you know I'll just You know you know, saying I'll say 9 months later That's 200 kids Right there Right there So that's how A little one can become A thousand man You know Let's get on down It says uh, So the men of the Lord The men of the nation of Israel will have More than one woman It just You know That's gonna That's how How you think The two thirds Gonna get brought back You know Cause scripture Going to what Reincarnation you know, regeneration. So how do you think the um the two thirds gonna get brought back and the wicked Israelites that get purged out to the four corners of the earth? How do you think they're gonna get born back in the world to come? They're gonna get born through the line of that man that made it, you know? And that man gonna have more than one woman, you know, he's gonna impregnate them, impregnate his his wives, you know what I'm saying? And they're gonna bring back um the two thirds, man. The wicked of our nation. They're gonna get in the two thirds gonna get born being totally righteous. You know, so this is just it's in the Bible, man. You know? So we can't we can't sugarcoat the scriptures, you know. What did Paul say? I de, uh, I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole gospel, all the gospel of Hamashiach Yahusha. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, you know. So one hundred percent truth. We're not gonna sugarcoat it for you, man. You know, I'm not. So, thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one. A strong nation So one elect man Of the nation of Israel Gonna be like one Gonna become one strong nation Basically just how um, Judah The tribe of Judah Look at the tribe of Judah man We're like, we're like a nation 
Look at the tribe of Issachar, man. Come on now. Look at the tribe of Simeon. Ephraim. Ephraim means I um he is fruit. I am fruitful, I believe. You know? Look at the tribe of Ephraim. You know, so one in the kingdom of heaven, of course, we all gonna go back to our, our tribes. Like like I'm from the tribe of Judah. I believe that through faith from the tribe of Judah, you know. So I'm even from the tribe of Judah, lower lower than I make it to the kingdom and I and I take place in this. Of course, you know, I have all the I have all my wives and I, you know, impregnate them. I'm gonna become a strong nation, man. And they all gonna, you know, all my kids gonna go back, come back, um, come from, from me on back to Judah. We're gonna have our records too, you know, in the kingdom. You know, <laughs> records forever. You know, imagine that though. We're gonna, we're never gonna die. We're all gonna be immortal. I'm gonna get that next go. I don't forget it, of course, in First Corinthians 15, right? So uh, we're gonna be all immortal and we're gonna have so many kids. You see what I'm saying? Kids upon kids upon kids, we're gonna keep the records. So I'll 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 great 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 grandson we can have his records of who he go back to. You know how he go back to me and I go back to Judah. Judah goes back to uh uh Israel, Israel go back to you know um Isaac, Isaac go back to Abraham, Abraham go all the way back to Noah, you know, back to Shem to Noah, you know, Noah goes all the way back to Adam. You know, we're gonna have all the records, man. You know, we're gonna have all of that. Right, but that one man can become a strong nation. So that is that that's enough that's further proof of men having more than one woman. It just and that's the least of our worries. You know, that's like brothers say, man, that's the least of our worries, man. You know what I'm saying? We want to be hundred percent righteous, man. You see? That's the least of our worries, man. Because being straight honest, uh even on this side, look at the look at the wicked celebrities. You know what I mean? Women they didn't popped and, and got, but that's they do it in wickedness. They see they do everything on the left hand side. You no, know, they do it in wickedness. They get they want to take other men's wives. You know, in the video shoots, there'd be a whole bunch of women shaking their ass and shit like that. It'd be none of that in the kingdom. No. There'll be no threesomes. You know, there'll be none of that wicked shit, man. You know, they're going to have women kissing on women in front of us looking. No. That's off. The hell? We're going to be kings and, and gods and priests. You know? Each of our wives are going to have their own bedchambers, man. We're not even going to sleep with them every night. The hell? We're going to have our own bedchambers. They're going to have their own bedchambers and, and servants and handmaids. And whenever we're ready, they're going to be ready to get popped. You know, they're going to be looking good for us, smelling good for us, and weighing. <laughs> you know, looking good as hell. You see? It, man, that's what's happening. But that's the least of our worries, man. Because, you know, when, like, women are attracted to what? Power. Men have power. That, they don't give a fuck how a man look. You know what I'm saying? A man can be a butt ugly. You know what I'm saying? And men, not even, men is not created to be no pretty boys. You know what I'm saying? Men wasn't created to be the, the lookers. You know? The woman was created to be pretty for the man. You know? Y'all was created to look beautiful and stuff like that, not the men. You know, men could be, you know, you know, uh, 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 what, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? A, a rough countenance. A man can have a rough countenance, but he got power. He's going to attract mad women, man. He got, he got power, you know? And that's what women are attracted to. That's why when they let get that power, they're going to be fighting to elect men of the Lord. Now, I'm going to stay on the topic, though, because I'll be talking about that for a long time. And I know sisters already probably to clip this video off. Like, I ain't listening to this shit. <laughs> I don't care, man. Let's get on down. So it says, Isaiah 16 and 22. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, will hasten it in his time. So that's a time that's rapidly approaching. Now I want to give 1 Corinthians because our mindset, they're going to be changed. Our whole entire bodies is going to be changed. You know? 1 Corinthians 15. <clears throat> I don't know where I want to start This whole thing is good Let's start at verse 47 The first man is of the earth Earthy That's going to Adam Right The second man is the Lord from heaven Yahweh Shai And we know Yahweh Shai was Adam You know If you understand reincarnation regeneration You have ears to hear Right <clears throat> Verse 49 uh, No no Start like Verse 48 as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And we know first, um, second address 4 and 30 says what? The evil seed was implanted in Adam from the beginning. That's why today we start the corruptible bodies and we go off. We're not perfect. You see? So that's what we're, we're of the earth. We're earthy. Right? I mean, a corruptible. You see? Mortal now. You know? The Lord, that wasn't, you know, the Lord's intentions. But ultimately, if you get deep with it, ultimately the Lord created it. The Lord's intentions from the beginning for us to live forever. You know what I'm saying? But he had us know the negative before we know the positive. 
know both good and verse evil, uh, know good and evil, so we can be the, we can be that much more perfect judges in the world to come. You see. So, verse forty-eight again, as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly, and as we have borne the image of the earthy. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly. So we bear the image of this balance. We bear the image of the earthy, you know, and these comfortable bodies going off, subject, subject to vanity. But now it's right now we're such subject to hope. And then once we get changed, what? We're gonna be um bear the image of the heavenly, man. You see? Verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, so remember what you're fighting for. But look, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the heavenly father. You know, so we're not making it to the kingdom in these bodies. These bodies are not going into them chariots. You know, you're not going to go into the chariots with wicked thoughts. No, you're going to be getting changed. I'd be getting beamed up, changed. You know, like the prophet Elijah, when he got beamed up, changed. You see? So it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. You see? Behold, I show, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, mean, and die, but we shall all be changed like i read in isaiah 60 chapter we shall all be righteous in the world to come you know he said we should not all sleep meaning die but we should all be changed meaning what we our whole body is going to get changed you know philippians it preach upon that philippians let's get it so back to the sisters man y'all gonna get changed too so your mindset right now is of the serpent is of the devil but y'all gonna get changed to that mindset you had back in the ancient world Y'all gonna, gonna have even y'all gonna have even a better mindset than that. <clears throat> Cause y'all gonna be hundred percent perfect. You know, so y'all gonna understand. Well, let's read this. Uh Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. You know, so he's going to change our vile body. Vile meaning lower state. This body is lower state. The, these everlasting chains of darkness. He's going to change our vile body is that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. The body that Yahweh is right now in the heavens. You know, that glorious body. And even when Yahweh came in the flesh as himself, as Yahweh Shai, he didn't sin. You know, he conquered this body, man. He conquered this flesh. You see? That's why we got to um, walk in his footsteps, man. And try our best to do the same. You know, as he was perfect, we got to try our best to be perfect. You know? So, uh, so we're going to change. Our both bodies going to get changed, man. Uh, let's go back to this. First Corinthians 15 and verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall and we shall be changed. You know, so you know those that die in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, but someone to first Thessalonians his fourth chapter, the, the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. You know, so the dead gonna be raised and corrupted, but they gonna get raised up first, and we all gonna be changed. You see? For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. You know, we, there'll be no more death. You know, death swallowed up in victory. <clears throat> oh, death, where's thy sting? Oh, grave, where's thy victory? <clears throat> the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, which gives us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. <clears throat> Slot here, right? Through our Lord, Yahweh, through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, Always abound in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, man. So always abound in the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Your labor is not in vain. Let me get a couple more precepts through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They close out. Right, so lock here. It's a nice day out today, man. Beautiful day. Right, so going back to the point where I read in Isaiah the 60th chapter, I'll be sure all be righteous. Right here, it said, What death is swallowed up in victory because the sting of death is sin, you know what I'm saying? And death is the, um, um, sin is a transgression of the law, 
So if we perfect, we never breaking the laws in the kingdom of heaven, meaning what? We're never gonna die. You know, because that's the definition of sin. Sin is a transgression of the law, and scriptures say what? For the wages of sin is what? Death. You know? So we're never gonna die again. Because we're gonna be changed into perfect bodies where we're gonna be um immortal, incorruptible, you know? See, that's the promise of the nation of Israel, right? So now I want to get this in the Apocrypha. Second Edges. Two and verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. So this is a vision our forefather Ezra, you know, seen, you know? And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, which is Yahweh Shai, taller than all the rest, because, you know, of course, he's our head, you know? <clears throat> uh, and upon every one of their heads, he said, crowns. He was crowning brothers, man. You know, Yahweh Shai crowning brothers. So know what you're fighting for, right? <clears throat> and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel, he asked the angel Uriel, <clears throat> and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, <clears throat> These be they that put off the, the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. That like is right in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter. This mortal must put on in immortality, right? And have confessed the name, the name, the name of Yahweh. You see? Now are they crowned and receive palms, palms, gifts, you know? Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crown of thumb <clears throat> And give them palms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh. Who's that? Yahweh Shai. Whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great one is of the Lord thy power that has seen. So our forefather Ezra saw brothers getting crowned and receiving gifts, you know, from Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> now, we're going to get this, Revelation. Matter of fact, before I get that, I want to get this. One second, I'll just like, 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 one second, I'll show you. I'll I'll get the precept, but I can't remember exactly where it's at. So, we're gonna get Revelation 21. Revelation 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. New heaven and what? New rulership. You know, new rulership. The kingdom of heaven is power rulership over the nation, right? You know, that new rulership means what? Righteousness. You know? <clears throat> and a new earth. The earth can be rejuvenated, renewed. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down as the elect. Coming down from the heavenly father. Coming down from the heavenly father out of heaven Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men And he will dwell with them And they shall be his people And, and, and Yahweh Bashem himself shall be with them And be their power <clears throat> And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Shall wipe away all tears from their eyes And there shall be no more death You see? No more death You see all the scriptures Line up. The scripture say what in Isaiah 28? Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, man. It all lines up, man. There'll be no more death, man. You know, so know what you're fighting for, man. You know? <clears throat> so if you're from the top, Revelation 21 verse 4. And Yahweh Bashem Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That reminds me of the scripture I started off with, Psalm 126. You know? When Heavenly Father turned again our captivity, we would like them that dream. You know? I mean, our, our joy gonna be our, our mourning gonna, gonna get turned to joy. You see, 
And Yahweh Bashim now shy shall wipe, away, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are truth, true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and now be his power, and he shall be my son. You see? But the fearful, wicked Israelites, man, you know, two thirds. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and, all, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burning for fire and brimstone, which is the second death. They're going to get burned up, you know? But they're going to get born through the elect in the kingdom. But they're going to have to die on this side. And they're going to they gonna have to know it after death by pain, as it's written. So verse 9, And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had seven vows full of the seven last plagues and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. That's the lamb's wife. That's the elect. You see? Verse 11, Having the glory of Yahweh, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like, Slakia, a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names ran thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven is only for who? The Israelites, man. Can't get around it, right? <clears throat> on the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Right? Who's the Lamb? Yahweh Shai. Right? <clears throat> and he that taught with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, and the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall and, an, um, and he measured the wall thereof and 140 and four cubits. You know? Um, Sakya. According to the measure of, of a man that is of the angel, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper. So this is the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, that's coming very soon, right? <clears throat> and the building of the wall of it was of jasper. That's a precious um, stone. And the city was pure gold, precious metal, you know, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper. The second, sapphire. The third, chalcedony. The fourth, an emerald. The fifth, sardonyx. The sixth, sardius. The seventh, crystallite. The eighth, beryl. The ninth, topaz. The tenth, chrysoporus. Um, chrysoporus. The eleventh, adjacent. The twelfth, uh, amethyst. And the twelve gates are all the old precious stones. You know, precious metals the kingdom can be built up with, man. So we're going to be decked out. You know, our kingdom can be decked out. The land of Jerusalem will be decked out, man. So now remember what you're fighting for, Akim, you know? <clears throat> Verse 21, <clears throat> Slakia. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate um, was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. The streets of our city were pure gold, man. And it were transparent glass. As it were transparent glass. So you can, you can be able to see reflection walking down the city of Jerusalem. And I saw no temple therein. For, Yahweh, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Almighty, and the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, are the simple of it. And the city had no need of, of the sun. I, just, I read this in Isaiah 60 chapter. And the city had no need of the sun, of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of the heavenly Father did lighten it, and the Lamb is light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and, and honor to it. The gate shall be open continually, man. You see? And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day. Slakia. <clears throat> Slakia. All right, all right. Verse 25 again. And the gates of it shall not be shut all at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. Because like, like I was mentioned earlier, this is only for the kingdom of the nation of Israel. You see, so when it says, in the nations of them which are saved, that's going to the Israelite foreigners. You see? 
and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, um, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. They're gonna be bringing us their resources. We're gonna suck the milk of the Gentiles. You see, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. You know, so remember what you're fighting for, brothers. I pray this video was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. I want to give Kol Halayim La Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Lexi out of the broad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom. May Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Yahweh Dash. Baba Kishah, Baba Kishah, Baba Kishah, Abad, Abad. Shalom.